I'm not gonna have anything bad to say. I already know it. Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me in this Palafel Packs November 2021 unboxing. As always, the full description of each item in this month's box will be listed in the box below. This one feels super packed, so let's go ahead and get this thing opened. So I didn't have my email card with the product descriptions, so I didn't have this information while I was unboxing this super packed box. First thing I spotted was the Standard Series Acrylics General Selection set of six by Amsterdam, retailing for $17.65. Again, we have six 20 milliliter tubes, and if you know me, you know I love my acrylics. I'm a huge fan of when boxes send out a primary set because I think it gives us a fair chance at seeing how this brand's materials truly work with each other, so this is perfect for mixing all kinds of colors and experimenting with. I wanted to swatch these differently, both with a palette knife and brush, and even though these are not the artist grade set, or as they labeled the expert set, they are super smooth and satisfying to swatch. And the main difference between the standard and expert is that the expert has more of a heavy body. And here's our sticker, happy fifth anniversary palette full. I think I've been with palette full for almost two years now, if not more. There was a time when they had a bit of a slump, but they're really, really killing the art box game in my opinion. Next we have a purple Posca pen. They call this one Violet. It retails for $4.10. Right now purple is definitely my favorite color. Not to wear but definitely for everything else. We received Posca pens in a previous palette packs and I fell in love with them. Here's some that I think I'm missing like two but this is what we received before and I created this with that set. I kind of really like this illustration. So having an additional Posca in purple is an absolute plus for my art arsenal and this thing will be highly loved. To get these things started, all you have to do is push the tip down on a hard surface and the paint will begin to flow down. These things are blendable, dry quick, and are super opaque so you can use this on pretty much anything. We also have a palette knife retailing for $5.49. You can use these to mix colors with or even paint with. I normally mix my colors with brushes because I like the unexpected colors that happen when you don't perfectly mix with a palette knife. Be mindful though that if you mix colors with your brushes and don't take good care of them properly or clean them properly, you do run the risk of messing up your brushes and shortening their lifespan. We also got a free Palafel Packs pouch in celebration of their fifth anniversary. I actually already have one of these and these paints will fit perfectly in here so I'm totally cool with this. Next up we have have yet another Windsor Newton Fine Liners. There were some defective pens in last month's box and mine was indeed one of them. I used my pen maybe five times and then it didn't work anymore so Here's a replacement for that. Next is a Robert Simmons Sapphire Sable Synthetic Blend Brush retailing for $14.99. Sheesh. The handles are made of kiln dried beechwood and the ferrules are precision engineered and are 22 karat gold plated. The brush is, and I quote, a unique blend of the finest red Kalinsky hair and synthetic filaments delivers the ultimate painting experience. Each brush is handmade and carries a lifetime guarantee, so I guess that would explain the high price. For our surface this month, we have quite a bit of options. First is the three pack of Crescent Canvas Textured Boards, eight by 10, retailing for $10.46. These state to be the best for acrylics and oil pastels, but they honestly feel very, very thin, so I'm not too sure how I'm going to feel about these. I don't think they're very durable right off the bat. We also have an art alternative starched canvas, 8x10, retailing for $13.99. This is an all-purpose canvas, a classic cotton stretched canvas, and is great for traditional painting techniques, as well for mixed medium and other kinds of craft projects, and you can use with all kinds of different paints and like acrylic paints, oil paints. It's primed and it's ready to go. Now that the box is all empty, let's move on to my thoughts and opinions on this box while we art. I decided to use my little chrome skull friend as reference and paint from life. I'm so sorry if you can hear fireworks in the background. I'm not sure what's gotten into people, but they've been doing fireworks like every night recently. So anyways, I'm sorry if you can hear that. 
I use the Posca pen to lay out my sketch and get started. The reason I decided to do this is because I wanted to see the different colors of black better. I know that may sound weird, but there is so many ways to paint black that I really, really wanted to give it a try. And can I be honest real quick? I feel like I haven't been disappointed with a Palafel Packs box in some time. The last box I remember not liking is the one with the acrylic paint spray and the pastels. I really didn't like that box and it feels like it was forever ago. And I don't even think I did an update on that one because I haven't even touched it since then. Like it's almost like my hand refuses to. Anyways, I really like these paints. I've been curious to try Amsterdam acrylics for some time and I'm really happy that I finally got the chance. I've never really explored outside of Liquitex and golden because that's all that my Michaels carries and I really wish I lived closer to an art supply store. Maybe I can make that like a future video or something like a mini vlog and an artist's first time in a real art store. Not saying that Michaels isn't real but I feel like it'd be so cool to go into a store where there's only art supplies. I'm sure I would be like surprised at every corner Everywhere I turn, I'm sure I'll be like mind blown. That's one of the reasons I really enjoy my art boxes. I love that I get to try new brands and explore without actually having to leave the house. Also, I'm not sure if it's because it was super late when I painted this or if it's the board itself that I'm using, but these paints had kind of like a satin almost finish to them. They didn't have like that plastic shine to them that can get super annoying when it comes to acrylics. Don't quote me on that though, that's just what I experienced on my first go. Again, I'm not sure if it's the board that I used or if these paints really do have like a satin matte kind of finish. Also, I can't really speak on the drying time because I used my Stay Wet palette. This palette is an absolute gem if you're an acrylic artist. It keeps your paint wet for so long while you're working, I honestly couldn't paint without it. So as far as Posca goes, I love these things. I had a little phase where I used to use these to outline everything and I don't regret it. I kind of want to bring that back maybe, but I don't know. Yeah, Poscas are great and I definitely plan to keep sketching with these. I also brought my own out to overlay some highlights on the skull, which was super satisfying because these are just so bright and opaque. So even going over black, you can see the paint perfectly. No words or comments on the palette knife. It does what it does and it does it well. The brush was super nice. I don't know if I would personally pay $15 for this, but hey, that's pretty much my only complaint. I didn't think it was super necessary, but it was nice and it was worth it. And I 100% would much rather have a $15 brush and a nice working brush than a flimsy shedding water brush. I don't know why I don't like, no, I do know why I don't like water brushes so much. They're annoying and they're hard to work with sometimes. So I'd rather have this nice expensive brush than a water brush. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain too much about it. Another thing that I wasn't sure of at first was the texture board. This looked really flimsy and I was for sure thinking that it would warp, but it ended up holding pretty well. And I did end up actually liking the texture since I was using the palette knife for the background. I liked the way it felt when I used it to lay paint over top of it. Overall, this was a fun month. I'm really excited to work with them. As I mentioned in my previous video, I have a mini project for a spread in my sketchbook. I want to draw slash paint slash sketch my friends on YouTube. And if you want to be a part of it, all you have to do is leave an art related emoji or say that you want to be in my sketchbook and maybe include your Instagram handle so I can use your profile pic. If you don't want to participate, just don't leave an emoji but please do tell me your thoughts and opinions on this month's box. I think what I'm going to end up doing with these paints is using probably all of it 
on a huge canvas. I mean, not huge, but like a 16 by 20 canvas or an 18 by 24 canvas. And do, should I do like a landscape? I kind of want to do either something from Studio Ghibli because recently I just sold my Chihiro painting and I absolutely loved that painting. I'm really happy that I went to a happy home though. So I think I want to do either another Studio Ghibli like fan art thing or I've really been wanting to do this Rengoku Demon Slayer painting. I might just record the time lapse because making a whole video of that would be kind of crazy. So I might just do a time lapse of that and share it for my Palafel Packs update for this video. I've got time to think about it though, so I'm not gonna stress it too much, but I really want to use a lot of this paint. So I had a lot of fun trying to paint chrome and I think I really, really underestimated it because this was not easy at all. I thought maybe I would take just something simple and do like a simple painting from life type of thing, like a still life piece and just like a quick study, you know? But um, yeah, it was a lot harder than I thought. Here is the final piece and thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.